So you're pregnant. How many weeks are you? Wait, how do you know that? Did Mel tell you? Did my mother-in-law tell you? Nobody told me. I just know. Well, I'm... Baby's okay, and um... I'm about 14 weeks now. I found out when I was nine weeks, so it's kind of been news to me for only a couple weeks. And you still haven't gotten your cervical cerclage? Don't the doctors know you need that already? No, it was a, a whole big thing with the office, and my, my specialist had a, a family emergency or a medical emergency or something, so he had to push it back. And I, I don't want to start looking for other specialists and deal with their scheduling conflict or anything. Do you want me to call them? No, no. We have it scheduled for this, uh, week 16. Um, I should be fine. I don't think anything will happen. I'm trying to think positive. You let me know if you change your mind. Because we're not having another pregnancy like that other one. I wanted to talk to you about something else, too. Okay. What do you want to talk to me about? You're going to have a second mouth to feed. And you're going to be doing it all by yourself. Do you need money? You know I don't care. Name the amount. I appreciate that. But I'm going to work until I have to give birth. And um, my maternity leave should be a good amount. And then I'll go back to work. And I think I'm going to be okay. My job pays good, and I don't plan on leaving it. But I, I really thank you for the offer. My grandson abandoned you. It's the least I can do for the mistakes that my blood have made. I appreciate that as well. But if anyone should be giving me money, it should be him. You know, he's the one that's obligated to do it, not you. You know you're not going to get a dime out of him unless you take him to court. And I know you don't want to go to court. I know. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But at the same time, like I said, I make good money. And I plan on keeping my job. That's your hard-earned money. And I know you don't mind it going to your children. But you deserve some of it for yourself. That's why I'm offering to help. If something happens with my financial situation, where I'm in dire straits again, I won't be too prideful now that I'm going to have a second kid. And I'll ask you for money if I need it. I will. All right. Just make sure those damn doctors do your procedure already. We're cutting it close. Yeah. Trying to think positive. And one last thing. I know my daughter said that she's changed. I know she's being helpful and nicer to you. And you're letting her see my great grandson. But that woman never changes. Neither does Melissa. Just because you feel strong. Don't trust the wrong people, because they'll get you. Noted.